Hello and welcome to episode 21 of our Abdel Ludum campaign. In the last episode, we left off on this screen right here with Siren Bar, our ally, attacking another one of our allies, Abdel Tunger, which is very sad. Um, they declared a humiliation war, so they're not planning on taking any land. And this sucks because no matter what I do, somehow I'm going to lose an ally here. And I could just console command this out, right? I could do that. And it seemed like people were pretty supportive of that in the comments as, you know, it's kind of sad that this has to happen. But I'm going to try and not use console commands. I don't really want to. And so I thought about what is the best way that I can get through this one event right here without ruining potential friendships. And I think the answer to that is to not answer the call to arms. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, one, this is a humiliation war. So Siren Var can't actually take any land. Right? Money, war reps, whatever it is, that's their plan. Fine. No big deal. Uh, and after the war starts, I can guarantee Abdel Tunger and or like enforce peace on someone if they declare on them. Like, I'll keep Abdel Tunger protected. That's not a problem. But if I join the defensive war, one, I break my alliance with Siren Bar, who is undoubtedly, you know, not super strong. Right? They only have 33,000 troops. Abdel Tunger has zero. Okay? My allies right now not doing well, except for you, Yo Calls. Shout out to you. Doing absolutely fantastic. But if I join a war against Siren Bar and our armies engage in battle, then we will lose the historical friendship modifier, right? And our relations are already pretty low. Now, if we look at Abdel Tunger here, our relations are super high. Same religion, and we have great power influence on them, which is all fine and dandy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're not going to answer the call to arms, which sucks. It sucks. Usually, I wouldn't care, right? The AI, you're on your own. Not my problem, but this campaign's all about friendship. And unfortunately, we're going to have to say no to this. Uh, I hope, hope you all understand the decision I'm coming from. Just trying to make sure that I can re-ally Abdel Tunger here after it's all said and done. Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with them. And also improve relations with Siren Var, even though I am not happy with Siren Var in the slightest. 33,000 troops. They decide to pull this, uh, this war. It's terrible. It really is. Let's just hope that Gelkalis also doesn't decide to jump in here. That would be bad. All right, we also have the Verkul Skomdir hold specialization. We can go Metropolis or Artisan. And I believe we already have the Artisan one here. Uh, yes. Yes, so let's go for Metropolis on this one. Actually, no. We want more local trade power. Yeah, no, we do want the local trade power because we have the Exotic Wood and then we have the Modifier here. Exotic Crafts plus 50% trade value modifier. Yeah, yeah, no. we want artisan infrastructure. We've got trade efficiency, local trade power, local goods produced. Yes, yes, yes. That's very good. Okay, uh, and last one, we also went to war with the J uh, Jad Empire here, and we took everything from them in the Serpent Spine Mountains, so we are currently in the process of coring all of that up. And then this is a... Uh, hold on. Before I lose this, this is a colony. Make sure we throw some guys on there. We're currently coring all this up. Then we will be going to war with Gor Ozenbrug at some point. Uh, they are being attacked by Abdul Kanzad, is what it looks like. Actually, no, Poison Rock is attacking them. Interesting. Uh, but I would like to secure this portion of the Serpent Spine right here. Now, I have had a couple people ask if I was planning on fully reuniting the uh, Dwarven Empire, and I don't think I am. I, I don't... No. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think we're just going to try and follow the mission tree to the best of our abilities. Although at some point there will be something uploaded to the channel where I do do a whole reuniting of the Dwarvar. I did something on stream relatively recently and I'm hoping to edit that down a bit and then post that. So if you're looking for a total like reconquest and creating the Dwarven Empire, that's that's coming in the future sometime. I don't know when, but sometime. <laughs> it will be there. Uh, for now though, we need to improve relations with the Magisterium and with BPEC. To be 100 and trust needs to be at least 60. And people point out that I could just uh, go ahead and hit curry favors here to increase our trust. But the problem is our trust went down with, I think, everyone by not answering the alliance. Yeah, then went down, which obviously sets us back a bit. But that's okay. Now, BPEC, are you willing to ally me? You are not, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> it's kind of nuts that you're not willing to ally me, but okay. Uh, instead, then we'll go ahead and influence and curry some favors. Same thing here with Magisterium. Though this might not be too effective, because it's dependent on how many uh, mil military size. But it looks like 0.22, not too bad. Go ahead and try and ease the tensions. Uh, recall from the Magisterium, that's fine. 
Now, there were some other missions in here also. The other elves. So Moonhaven needs to have 60 trust with me. Silverforge needs to have 60 trust with me. Now, we're allied to Silverforge. And our favors, yeah, should be absolutely sky high. So I just need Silverforge to have... Uh, 100 opinion of me. And... Trust at least 60. Do they not have that? Am I crazy here? Trust of 65. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I have to influence them. I have to influence them. Well, that is... <laughs> that's a very easy thing for me to fix. Very easy thing for me to fix. I'm going to influence them for being a great power, and that should complete the Kenorian Dwarves. So the Dwarves of Kanor never forget about us, you know. When the orcs fled in to ask in their numbers in the Dwarf are thin, it took no time at all for them to send expeditions into the mountains to find us. Only seems proper to reach out to them in return. Nori Slatehome, court historian of Abdel Ludum. Beyond Abdel Tunger, there are two more dwarf holds west of the Dwarvar. Ruby Hold is old and established, while Silverforge is very young indeed. We ought to establish relations with them both. Definitely can't do both. I really hope you don't want me to do both. Uh, 50 Diffle Power, begin a skill 3 Commandant. That is 50% cheaper to uh, employ, and we get some service dwarf events. And we have Back to the Mountains. We own at least four holds that are dig level three yes we definitely do all right the ruby dwarves and silver dwarves have sent many expeditions into the dwarvar to reclaim the lost holds some of which we have encountered ourselves as we've been reclaiming those very holds there might be a good number of them that want to return to the dwarvar and help us gain one in a lot of development in a lot of different places i'm not going to go through all this a <laughs> uh, bunch of roads and caves and stuff like that okay so yeah we're just kind of locked behind there this one's already done and this one can be done relatively soon, though I should probably make my way up towards this. What is it? Iron, copper, or glass as a workshop and a essentially a manufactory. Copper and glass. Do we have any glass anywhere that doesn't fit that? Yeah, workshop and manufactory. No, that's the one that we do have completed. Uh copper has a workshop and a weapons manufactory. Is that not enough? Oh no, it is. Base production at least seven. I don't know. It is. I'm good. I'm just... That's one of the... We have three that are completed. Uh, okay. Are there any other decent holds? I'm looking more towards the holds than anything else. Uh, no. The rest of the holds are gems, unfortunately, for us. Uh, okay. Well, this is uh, Iron Hold, though. Okay. That one's also completed, then. I think those, those two are the completed ones. So let's do these roads, perhaps? Unless there's somewhere in here a little bit better. I uh, got yeah, like this copper is more protected so let's go ahead and encourage development here get that up to seven perfect and it has a workshop and a weapons manufactory so that should already be up to four then uh, if we look here yep that's four so now it's just these which already have it as well so we're just going to do a little bit more development here and then we will be able to complete that mission once we get everybody to be uh, a little bit more friendly and great so I'm pretty sure we just fixed that hold, so we're about to get it destroyed again, which is uh, my bad. Yeah. Yep. I should have built a fort on it. I should have had troops there. Was very dumb not to. Now I just have to pay for my mistakes. Start hold restoration. I have to be at peace. Oh, right. I forgot to kill calls. Call me into war against Bersartan Chess. Not a big deal. Nah. See, this... This is uh not gonna happen cannot allow that to happen can't let Krathenor do things um economy send gift here have some have some money my friend have some money okay now it's at 100 i don't know if i can do this though when we have a truce i can there we go Okay, so I enforce peace on Krathenor, so I'm not at war with Sirenvar, but I am still going to be protecting them. Krathenor, you are not allowed to uh, walk in here and do this. Yeah, that's right. You better start running. You better start running, but it's not going to help you because my legions are coming in and they are not thrilled. A war between Sirenvar and Abdel Tungur? Fine. It's a war of honor. That we will not get involved in, but this, this is a slight. You thought that we would just sit by... And uh, unless you take all this, and I can guarantee you, I am not happy with that decision. No, sir. No, sir. Well, I hope you're ready to lose your capital, because uh, I really, really hope that Abdel Tunger takes it. I wanted them to have this stuff anyways. Okay, instantly, we need to start building forts. 
30 development. Uh, we're going to get rid of... Wait, that's not done coring. Oh, man. Oh, right, because that's Goblin, right? Yeah, it's Goblin. All right, uh, then let's go ahead and just start building the fort here. Level 6 fort. Absolutely. Are all these level 6, by the way? Yeah. Good. Just want to double check. Uh, we're restoring... Oh, were we in the process of restoring this? Is that what was happening? We must have been in the process and it got reset, which... That's not the end of the world. Hunger, there we go. So if Abdel Tunger wants to snag that, they're more than happy to. Uh, what is this? Arnanen? Horse piece. Alright, we need more troops. We need more troops over here. Everybody help. Sirenvar, this is your fault. I just want to make this clear. This is your fault. You caused this. I wouldn't have had to fight all these dwarves. These dwarves don't need to die. But you have made it to where it's going to be this way. Abdel Tunger, please unseage your stuff. Actually, I don't think they have any troops, so I'm asking them for a little bit too much here. Simple things like, ah, unseize your land. Ah, do good. Yeah, they, they can't really do that very well. Oh my god, my general died in the middle of battle. Retreat, 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 retreat. Don't be fighting when you got no general. It's not a good idea. Always, 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 always a bad idea, in fact. Car... Car and cash separatists? What's car and cash? I have never even heard of that tag. I kind of want to let it spawn so I can look at their cores. What's up with that? I... Okay, weird. Never seen them before. Go ahead, make sure you're ready to fight all the rebels in these areas. We got two stacks over here, that should be more than enough. You get all of that undone. Perfect. Yeah, we're we're here to defend our friend Sirenvar. You better you're gonna owe me. You're gonna owe me big time for this one. Oh, look at that general. Oh, six four six two. Yeah, that'll do. That'll that'll do. Can I get another one like that? No, but he's also very good. Take that. You are not ready for this one. And I lost, because I died to Rebels. Fair enough. You know what? I'm going to int this 1k into this Rebel stack. You served us well, my friends. No, I'm going to try and save them. I'm going to try and save them. Quickly. Fly. Fly, you fools. Okay, and that was for Gelcalus. Oh, you think I'm going to let you get away, huh? You, you think you could just walk away from this? You think you could... Oh, man, my gold mine. Oh, no, whatever shall I do? My income! Oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, you thought. You thought that you could get away. You cannot! And yes, Abdul Tunger did in fact take your province off of Krathenor. Very, very good, my friends. Very good. Anyone else attacking you? Yo, call us. Please. Please. Don't. I'm sending you a warning. <laughs> Do not declare on them, okay? Don't do it. Only Siren Bar wasn't too rich and powerful to send that to. They have 33,000 troops. Come on, game. Like, very clearly, they're going to listen to what I say. Like, very clearly, they're going to listen to what I say. Uh, military power? Actually, I'll take this. That sounds good. <sighs> okay. Uh, they're not sieging down a fort anywhere. Nope, we're good on that front. Go ahead and start sieging down this. How far off are we from tech? Oh, actually, we are behind on tech. Oh, that is bad. That's actually kind of bad. Goblin ambush. Okay, game. I never even on siege this. It's been a day. Apparently, it has been a day. Uh, we're going to have to send a stack back to deal with the goblins because apparently there's more of them. I really thought we got rid of them in the Goblin Tide. But no, they're still there. Mm-hmm, still there. Where's Arnon's capital? Right there. Grab this fort then. Walk faster. Walk faster. You are, you took the slowest route. I have super speed on the, <laughs> on the rails. Why would you not take the rails? Marital Bliss, uh, sure. I want you. Okay, I want you to pop out down here now. 
We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, he's not anywhere near me, so we're going to go ahead and lock in sprinters. Uh, really? Really? Do I want to? I mean... I don't think I do. Sprinters are just worse. Yeah, sprinters are literally just worse. Wait. Am I going crazy here? I'm looking at this. Sprinters have one more pip, but they transfer from fire pips to shock pips? Why would they do that? Am I gonna not upgrade my infantry? Am I am I going crazy? I'm not going crazy, right? No, it would literally transfer it all over to shock. Why would it do that? No. No, I'm not going to upgrade my infantry. I don't, maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe I'm like overthinking it, but just at first glance, it does not look better. Just straight up looks worse in every way. Go up to speed, or uh, stab three, please. There we go. Virgo Gulan is now uh, deeper, which is cool. Yeah, Siren Bar is going to win their war. There's nothing I can do about that. There we go. Can I catch him? Okay, go to their capital then. How many times do we have to teach the AI this lesson? Don't declare on my homies. It's that easy. Oh, they they needed to. They really needed to. Uh, okay, are we done coring this yet? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and get a fort built up here. This is repairing, right? Still? Yes. This is old Duke. Gross. Gross. And all of our rebels are going away now. Well, all of them except for Shadow Dreamer. Not a big deal, though. Okay, move back over here, please. You know, this has completely defeated the purpose of today's episode. Today was not supposed to be about fighting wars. It was supposed to be about the complete opposite. About improving relations with people and being friends. But, um, yeah, I can't just let Optal Tunger die. That is not the goal. I, I want them to live and be prosperous and be wonderful. Ooh, I guess I'm innovative this. Oh, I don't really need it, so no. Okay. Of the Tunger. Peace these guys out, please. Like you can you can just piece them out now. We don't we don't have to fight them. You don't have to you don't have to death war these guys. You're already getting humiliated by Siren Var. You don't need to do it again. If only we could dig faster. Alright, Shastun Deer also. One more um dig level deeper. And I'm currently digging the capital as well, hoping to get that to max before the campaign ends. And I have Imperialism, right? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let's go engage this army. Okay, we're just going to keep pushing them back. Where are you going? Just going to chill there, huh? Alright, fair enough. Meanwhile, I'm just going to uh, siege everything down here real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just doing a little bit of carpet sieging. No problem. Hey, are you attacking here? No. Goblin refugees from Brooklyn Coast Nav. Sure. We've gotten so much free dev from Brooklyn Coast Nav getting rid of goblins. Like, honest, like, you just, you have to accept minorities. I know, fun fact, that's a crazy thought, but letting the goblins come to your country and invest into your economy, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. I know that uh, some, some people may say that's not truly dwarf-like, but to you, I say, bah humbug. Uh, thank you for your development. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like the development. Okay, let's block these guys in here. Why are we not able to piece out from Versart and Chiss here? I don't know. I guess it's probably because Gilcalus uh, can't get Elisna out of the war. That would be my only guess. Also, have I influenced the Magisterium yet? Uh, I'm already influencing influencing our trust is back up to 50 go ahead and increase our trust need 10 favors oh i have nine favors imagine surprisingly enough it's actually going up faster for the magisterium which is kind of weird but increase that uh, a grudge grudges are everywhere in dwarven society but we have found ways of working around them the average dwarf knows it is far healthier to let grudges fester and worsen over time than to actually act on them or be at each other's throats all the time so, as long as we meticulously avoid one another, we can hate each other from a distance and keep the peace. However, when surface dwarves with a grudge meet another abroad, 
though they don't tend to have the same restraint to stop themselves from starting to fight. Such a fight between surface dwarfs seems to have broken out today. No bloodshed in the halls, or let them fight, nobody gets in the way of a grudge. No bloodshed in the halls. You dang surface dwarfs. It's gotta learn some respect, okay? Gotta learn some respect. <laughs> These poor Ardenan troops are not prepared. Not prepared. What is this? That's not how that CB works. You're not... What? Am I missing something? I thought in Humiliate War CBs you couldn't take land. Can you release nations? I don't know. I guess I never just tried it. He lost his cores on it all. Damn you, Siren Bar. And yeah, he won't, he won't ally me for a while. I can take Admin Tech early. Uh, sure. I don't have anything else to spend it on. Okay, we got a wall breach. Come on. Let's get this over with. Thank you. Let's finish them off. They're trapped. Can't leave. They're just gonna fight to the end. Okay, or they're gonna walk away. And somehow not get stack light there. Or here. Can you just give up already? This is this is gameplay. There we go. Okay. All glory to us. Uh, Arnon cedes two provinces to Avil Tungur, gives war reps, releases brink marches in Gizden. Cool. Wonderful. Mission somewhat accomplished. Avil Tungur's borders are now bad, but that's fine. We will survive. We'll survive. Siren Bar? I'm flipping you off. You can't see me right now, but I am flipping off Siren Bar. Absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. I have lots of money so I can centralize hold operations. Sure. Centralizing the digging operation of our hold will allow us to have greater control over the digging process of our non-capital holds. This just means that now I can decide to dig wherever I want. I don't want to dig anywhere, I don't think. I don't have the money for it. But eventually, is obviously, the deeper the uh, hold, the better. Oh, I should have stated everything. Oh, I guess I did have something to uh, spend all those admin points on. Oh, well. All right, let's get these two provinces colonized up. Can't be having them looking like this. Absolutely whack. Whack, 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 whack. I also need to start hold restoration. For that, I need to be at peace, and I need to have 100 crowns. Yeah, 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 we'll get there. Okay, well, they're making their way back over. It's fine. Let's go ahead and... Am I guaranteeing them? Yeah, proclaim a guarantee. Okay. We're going back in, boys. <laughs> Guess it's not over. Not over till it's over. Enforce peace. Will you all stop? Just stop it. Leave him alone. Our sweet, sweet boy does not deserve this. Just leave him alone. Please. Oh, this army is super dead. This army is super dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that army is gone day. Didn't have a general. Didn't have a general. To be fair, they didn't think they needed it. They were wrong. Okay, there we go. Finally, go call us fully annexed Bersartan chess. Okay, fair enough. Now, what do you want? Yeah, he's not thrilled that I warned him, but... Wham. Apparently, that's necessary for me to warn my friends from killing my other friends. Like, all right, you could have gone after Corveria. Or, like, Barumand or Rosande, and I would have helped you. I mean, I would have even broken my alliance with Verkul Kozanad for you. But not Avdol Tunger. Our sweet, sweet boys. Not the boat dwarves. They deserve freedom and life. How dare you? How dare you? There's the bulwars up. That's fine. Let's see all this. Make sure they're not trying to pull any sneakies on us. Go in here. I don't think they are, but you never know. Uh, let's hand all this over to Abdul Tunger in case they want to take it, because I cannot take it. Arca Corver still does not have a fort of any kind. I don't want to just blast on there. Okay. I was worried that they might have their 100k stack here. But they do not. Yeah, you think I'm afraid of your fort? Hmm? You think I'm afraid of your mountain fort? One siege tick is all I need, punk. It's all I need. Yeah, you and your vampires can get on out of here. Go on and get uh no okay hello 
Why don't you uh, reinforce this, please? Reinforcements! Reinforcements! Yeah, that's right. That's right. You dumb little humies. What you got? What you got? You don't have anything. Stop attacking my friends, okay? Look, I know that we've had a bit of a rough time here. Um, but they will succeed. They will be alive and you will die. That is how this works. Uh, Magisterium. Hello. We have four favors with you. And 55 trust. I need to influence them one more time. Vpec. It is still ridiculous to me that you don't... Hey, you're getting close to wanting to ally. Improve relations again. We might be able to get them to the point where they want to ally us. We'll see. We shall see. I'm going over my for my Diplo relations limit for you people, so you got to be thankful. Nice. Our hold is another level deeper. And we're going to go ahead and keep in the capital. What? Have we reached the bottom? Hold, hold... Trade Center, big level 10, the core hold. This hold stretches so deep underground that it is said that the warmth of the planet's core can be felt. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's saying that it's maxed out. But it's not letting me dig it any deeper, which tells me that something's definitely um, up. Not constructing a building, recruiting an army, did not have the province incomplete hold, did not reach the bottom. I don't know, maybe there's an event or something that will tell me that it has reached the bottom. We just have to be patient. Let's, uh, let's sprint down here. Engage this army before it can escape. Move in. Yes. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay. You can move there. You can stop, uh, force marching. Move here. What does Avdal Tunger want? I don't want him to take too much, is the problem. Then that's going to lead to more wars with Siren Bar, most likely. Still ridiculous how they declared the war. I don't understand. I don't know if maybe in the AI's eyes, like, because our trust was so high, that we would decide not to defend them, or what exactly happened. But something weird happened. Okay, uh, favors? Let's go ahead and increase trust. Oh, I don't want your money. Your trust, we're up to 55 now. Very good, very good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to quickly siege all this down before they can get back here. Is this greedy? Maybe. Perhaps. It is. But, you know what? You gotta be greedy sometimes. Just gotta get things sieged down. Yeah, see, look, it ended up all fine. No, no, no. I want you to go here. I want these two to go here. And this one. Go here. Same with you. Here we go. Okay, they're fully occupied, my friends. They're fully occupied. Ale and beards. Dwarves are known for their love of good drink, but some of these surface dwarves have a tendency of going a bit too far. A party held by some visiting surface dwarves has slowly been spinning out of control, and the locals have been complaining about noise and other disruptions for several days now. Now, however, it has gotten truly out of hand, as the party growers are spilling out into the neighborhood, causing severe damage. Let them enjoy their celebration? Uh, no. I think they've been at it for too long. Shut them down, boys. Shut them down. Can't have too much fun out here. Oh no, can't have too much fun. Uh, almost forgot. Need to develop this. There we go. Now, this will be ready to rock and roll whenever <laughs> whenever we get the trust up, which should hopefully happen soon-ish. Uh, Moonhaven is someone else that I also needed to be doing this with and totally forgot to. I need to influence them right now. So that way it's on cooldown. And let's start to uh, curry favors with them when that time is up. I can start to click this button again. There we go. Curry favors. Perfect. Uh, I will give this over to Avdel Tunger. That's the last thing they might want. So as soon as they want to peace out, we can peace out. Ooh. Well, hello there. Hello there. Oh, no. Jad Empire. Oh, man. they're getting... Wait, no. That's bad. Hold on. <laughs> that's actually bad. I don't want the... I don't want to border with the command. I, I do not. I actively do not want to border with the command that's 800,000 troops. I'm good. I'm good. No, thank you. Not interested. Not interested in the slightest, in fact. Not in the slightest. Okay, come on. We gotta get out of this war, man. We don't need to be in this war any longer. We have proven the point that you are safe and that they can't take you out. Let's just wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. General has died. 
That's it. One of the important ones. Two. Rebels. Shadow Dreamer Rebels. Alright, well, let's just make sure that they go and fight everybody in their way. Door. There we go. Wonderful. And I really should be taking this pretty much as soon as possible. Uh, that way, the command doesn't take it themselves. I need to have some kind of defense over here. Or now, it looks like the inevitability of a command attacking us. Or at least getting in range to do so. Which is a terrifying thought. It's a terrifying thought. Abdel Tunger! It is time to peace out, my friend. It is time to call this war done. Okay? Don't get greedy. Do not get greedy. I understand that you see me in here with you and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could really wreck these guys. We could really do it, but you shouldn't. Do not test my patience because I will leave you out to dry if you hang me all along. Too long. Okay, stack wipe you, stack wipe you. What the heck do you mean they're too fast? No! They sniped my one stack. They sniped my one stack. Nothing makes me more upset than my one stack's dying. Come here. No, come here, you little vampire simps. You're done for. You're done for. No, where do you think you're going, huh? Where do you think you're going? You can't just stack wipe one of my one stacks and get away with it. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Uh, Abdel Tiger needs help with some rebels. We'll go help him. Better hope you're retreating far away. Actually, I don't know where they're retreating to. Where are you? Are you going all the way down? Okay, fine. I shall follow you down there then. Yeah, there we go. That'll do some damage. That'll do some damage. Good. Barrage the walls. Get through them. Being in wars with the AI in charge is the worst. It's it literally is the worst. Uh Virko Guland, we want more goods produced. Yeah, no. We just we want the plus one local goods produced. It's gold. Why would I not want that? Also, I'm pretty sure this is a ruined hold at the moment. Yeah, I have to be at peace though to fix it. I'd love to be at peace. Really would. But I kinda can't be. Game says no. Please, I beg of you. Let me end this war. No! <laughs> my boys. Look what they've done to my boys. Okay, we have 90% war score. Peace out. You don't. You don't need any more war score. What are you trying to take? Like, you're not trying to take enough to demand this much war score. You're dragging my video on, Abdel Tunger. Okay? I saved your life. Sure, maybe I abandoned you, and this is uh, me repaying that. But also... Just piece them out, man. Look, you're letting them unseat everything. AI is the worst. AI is the worst. Come here. Let me fight your armies. Okay, at least he pet he truced it. Uh, but I'm losing my words. I'm losing my words. At least he pieced out the allies. Bassan is now Emperor. Okay, okay. That's cool, I guess. Here we go. They come out. No one leaves. No one leaves. Do not let them unsiege this, because then Abdel Tunga will be like, Oh, well, I don't own anything. I don't own anything, so I can't be sound now. <sighs> Look, they're just lucky that I am trying to make up for uh, my now past crimes of abandoning them. And that's the only reason why I'm still in this war. Need to be. Otherwise, I'd have been long gone. Long gone. Claims on our rivals. That's fine. I don't need claims on my rivals. I just want to be out of this war. Game, please. Why? Why? Wait, I think it's enough, right? That gets V pack up to 60. You suck, game. <laughs> 59. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Sure. What's another war, right? What? <laughs> I just want to repair my holds, please. <laughs> please. Uh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Revoria revokes, revokes, revokes some cores. Let's get all these guys moving back to the hold now. Uh, the Vocal Koznad, you're on your own. I don't care about you. Sorry. Just the cold hard truth that you needed to hear. 
You really need me to fight an OPM, or sorry, a 2PM? Great. Glad you need to call in all your allies for that. They're really intimidating. Uh, okay, before we end off here, I want to make all these guys very happy with me. There's for trust, and... Increase there's for trust. Is that enough? That is... Not enough. Are you serious? Uh, deal with that. Why? Do you not like me enough? You don't like me enough. Okay, who are your rivals? Uh, Wex? Hey, Wex. I think this is appropriate. There. What? Oh, okay. Fine. No, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. We're gonna get through it, though. We're gonna get through it. There we go. And I also gained some power projection from this. Not too bad. Okay. You're at 133. Yeah. The short folk. Uh-huh. What? What's your trust at? 58? Oh my god, it's going down. Oh, my trust is going down with them. Okay, then we're gonna have to wait for next time in order to influence them again. It shouldn't be too long. I'm pretty sure we did this really close to each other. But uh, yeah, we'll pick it up next time with all these missions and stuff. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. Um, yeah. At least we got through this whole conundrum. Yeah, there's Border Gore down here now. And I had to defend Abdel Tunger from uh, two, three, three other wars, but they're alive. And that is good enough for me. Scary command. Very scary command. Uh, that's going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.